so where are we at? We are at Jekyll Island, Georgia. And you have been here a lot? Been here several times, yeah. Me and my family. Yeah, I've never been here and they've talked a lot about it, so I'm excited to be here and see what it's like. Should be a fun week. We'll find out. It's absolutely hot. It is incredibly hot. <laughs> it is super hot. Yeah, so... We'll see how it goes. Should be fun. There's a lot of th fun things to do around here. So, yeah. good fishing, good food. Uh, the beaches are nice. You know, just like any East Coast water, generally kind of a little dirty, but that's how it goes. I'm excited. We'll find out. Hey, little guy. It's a pretty lizard. He's heading out. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna head out. He gone. Bye, buddy. Did you see his tail? We're going to the beach. That's right. And it's a hot yeah, one. Yes, it is indeed. Extreme heat advisory for the rest of the day. Yeah. Extreme heat advisory for the rest of the day. Yes. I think the high is like 95, but my guess is that the real feel is probably at least 100. More than that. <laughs> be like 100, 510 probably. Yeah, we got to be careful. Yeah. So. Very hot. Yes. But having a blast. Oh, yeah. This is a really beautiful walk down to the beach here. And the dunes are so high that you kind of got to walk through the woods here before you can actually get on to the beach. And so it's very interesting that there's a lot of woods right up next to the beach. Because <laughs> you just think of the beach as just being, you know, really sandy and really flat. And so it's funny that you kind of got to go through the woods to get up to it. Am I on video? Yeah. Because I want to say something really rude <laughs> to all of your people okay. out there. What do you want to say? Corey's a super nice person. That's a way close up. That's a good looking foot right there. That's right. If anybody wants to have me as a foot model. We're ready. We're ready to roll. Hello. I got that. Wow. Horseshoe crab. Just a little hermit, babe? Yep, it sure is. A little hermit crab. He's tiny. Yeah. We are outside walking after dinner. Mm hmm Can hear the bugs. Mm-hmm. They're Good really time. loud right here. Yeah. Cicadas. 
So this place that we're staying at, this whole complex here is so incredibly nice. The houses in here are just yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's been nice so far. Really nice place and whole little area here is nice. Yeah. The only thing that hadn't been nice is the beach itself. Yeah, the water. Water is incredibly dirty and muddy, really. It's crazy. Yeah. But still, still a nice time. Though. Oh, yeah. Still pretty to look at. Oh, yeah. So the pool is behind us and now we're headed towards the beach and for where we're staying there's two paths here to get to the beach and it's really beautiful as you can see and it's interesting because this is very different from like Myrtle Beach where I'm used to going the dunes are really high and that's why there's these stairs to even get up kind of to level with the dunes to even get onto the beach so even with it nearly dark at like 8 30 you can still see in here and it's so pretty pretty Just cool all little the trees walk. yeah and me and austin the first night we come up here we heard like a loud rustling and we saw two armadillos kind of chasing each other and that was interesting and that big one is beautiful they grow that way i don't know oh, that's a good question austin said wonder what makes them grow that way and of course, there's just tons of Spanish moss, which is beautiful. Got growing on that tree. That's interesting. I don't typically see ferns growing on a tree. So you can see that's the dune up there. Mm -hmm. We're like eye level with the dune. Yeah. So this is where it's just kind of crazy to me because you just appear out of the woods here onto the beach. And you can see where the dune has just about caved this in right here. But this, I mean, this dune is like level with our heads, honestly. That's where we came out of. And this is what we came out of. And that's crazy because I just, in the past, all the beaches I've been to, you know, you just walk up right up to it and everything is so flat. And this is like kind of just coming out of this like beautiful little forest onto the beach and it's, it's really interesting. Wow, the tide is way higher this evening mm -hmm. than it was when we were here earlier. Yeah, we were on a fallen tide earlier, so it's getting lower and lower. Now it's probably about as high as it gets based on the Austin is actually loading his kayak tonight because he's going to go fishing in the morning. Hopefully right. he will bring us some fishing footage. Try to get a little bit. Try to get a little bit. Get that loaded. Like I said, these houses in here are really beautiful. This is a really sweet little spot. Yeah. And it's nice to have our own house because we've got a full kitchen where we can cook. And I definitely have been cooking. I may or may not have brought my favorite cast iron pan from home. Yeah. So we've been having a really good time. No doubt. Been having been a nice so time. Far. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I guess this is a good night for now. Good night, y'all. Naturally, I brought my favorite cast iron pan from home. 
because I knew we would probably be cooking eggs some. My good spatula, this thing is great for flipping eggs. And this is interesting because this is a gas stove. It's interesting for me because I have only cooked on a gas stove a few times in my life because I've always grown up with electric. And of course I know gas cooks way better. So this has been kind of neat to get to cook on gas. You can cook eggs in like five minutes. It cooks so fast and because it's gas, it heats, especially this cast iron, but I guess anything, it heats uh, so evenly. Those electric burners will kind of reach temperature and then kind of go off and it's just kind of off and on, off and on, off and on. But this gas is just super consistent uh, and it's really nice. I've been enjoying cooking on it. I mean, that butter just melts immediately. Mm. All right, honey, you like them a little less runny? You go, darling. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. All right, guys. Headed out here. Going to do a little fishing this morning. See if we can't get something, and uh, I'll let you guys know. Thank you. All right, guys. Caught a little trout. Going to let him go. This one's a little better one. I got a chunk at him on the other side there, though. But uh, gonna go ahead and let him go. Kind of looks like a redfish, but the colors are not right for that, really. He doesn't have any spots, so I'll throw him back. All right, everybody, caught me a keeper flounder. Has to be 12 inches in Georgia. Starting at the zero. Just about 17 there. Don't know if you can see that real well. Gonna keep this one, nice one. All right, everybody, this is where I just caught that flounder. Cool little spot here. But with that, gonna call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks very much. And uh, I'll hand it back to Corey. Today, Austin and his dad are fishing. So us girls are gonna go to the turtle center. And I am excited for this. I have never really seen sea turtles except on TV. So this should be pretty interesting.
to a place called Barber Jeans, and we actually ate there one night this week already. Mm -hmm. But I said, hey Austin, do you want to go back to Barber Jeans? Yeah. And then his parents are going to go back to a pizza place that we ate at that was really good too. Yeah. They're both really good places. Yeah. So. Barber Jeans is like a meat and three. Yeah. They have some, some seafood, and yeah. uh, but they have mostly like, what I got last time was chicken fried steak have stuff like meatloaf and other stuff like that. Yeah. It's pretty good. Are you having a good time, babe? Oh, yeah. Having a blast. Me too. How about you? Me too. It's fun. It's been very hot, but fun. It's been incredibly hot, but, but it has been fun. So this is pumpkin bread. And then those are like dinner rolls, and they Underneath are Underneath there, we got jalapeno cornbread, yeah, too. Yeah, we got jalapeno cornbread, too. I've never known of like a restaurant to serve pumpkin bread as before the meal. So it's very interesting. It's very good. Yeah. Okay, after supper... We're coming yes. out to the beach. This is a different part of the beach we haven't been to yet. Correct. Very pretty out here. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can see anything different. Yeah. What a gorgeous view through here. Look at these trees. And you can just step right out here onto the beach, I guess. Okay, go run in.
was it to see those osprey. That was amazing. Yeah. Ready to go home and take showers. Our shower. You're the only gross one. I guess it's just me. Just me. Time to go back and go to sleep and get up and do it all over again tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. All right, it's time to go home. It is indeed time to go home. We've had a great week. We have, but ready to see Olive and ready to sleep in my own bed. So yeah, it's been I great agree. though. It has. God bless you. God keep you. Thanks for coming with us, and we'll see you on the next one.